Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the fruit of the Spirit with Russ Brasher. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Five Good Minutes. Uh, we are looking at to wrap up uh, the time we spent the weeks looking at Galatians 5, 22 and 23, which emphasize the fruits of the Spirit, and we are in the last one, self-control. And each day we've taken a chance to look at Scripture outside of, of this, this, these two verses to help us better understand what self-control is. Day one, we learned that self-control is a gift from God. Day two, we saw that self-control is important. And today we're going to be looking at Proverbs 25, verse 28, which says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. And what I think this verse helps us start to see is that there is actually a necessity for self-control in a Christian's life because it serves as a protective measure in our lives. So today, we see that self-control as protection. The word picture that this verse helps paint for us asks us to imagine a city with very strong walls. And these walls are essential for protection, keeping out invaders and chaos from getting in. And when those walls are broken down, the city becomes vulnerable, exposed to danger and disorder. Likewise, when we lack self-control, when our walls come down, we expose ourselves to various temptations and harmful influences that can lead to chaos in our lives. Self-control is, I've said it all week, it's not just about restraint. It's about safeguarding our hearts and lives and our daily experiences be it in the, our relationships, the workplace, our personal habits, when we fail to exercise self-control, we open ourselves up to negative outcomes. Just think about the impact of a few ways that a lack of self-control can have on things like unchecked anger, indulgences, or procrastination. These can lead to broken relationships, missed opportunities, and a sense of discontentment. Now, Let's try to connect this to the gospel for a moment. Each of us struggles with self-control. There's no trying to deny that. I'd be a liar if I said I didn't struggle with self-control from time to time. Romans 3.23 even tells us that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and that would include self-control. So we have to recognize our weaknesses and failures in maintaining self-control. But here's where the gospel steps in and shines. Jesus came to redeem us from our shortcomings. He offers us grace and forgiveness. And he sends the Holy Spirit to empower those who have put their faith in him to actually grow in the areas where we struggle with self-control. And as we place our faith in Christ, we invite the Holy Spirit into our lives, who he is the one who helps cultivate a sense of self-control. This is our transformative process that Galatians 5, 22 and 23 reminds us that self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. Not, it's not merely about willpower. It's all about God at work in us and through us. And when we practice self-control, we're not just putting up barriers. We're building a foundation for a life that honors God and reflects His grace. It allows us to prioritize what truly matters, our relationship with Him, our loved ones, and our purpose in this world. So as we reflect on Proverbs 25, 28, let's remember that self-control is a vital protective measure in our lives. It guards us against chaos and keeps us aligned with God's will. So today, may we seek God's word to build those walls of self-control and ask the Holy Spirit to help strengthen our self-control, allowing us to live with intention and purpose. And may we be empowered by the grace of God to build strong walls in our lives that will protect us and others and reflect the character of Christ in all that we do. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.
Thank you.